The Science of Mind by Ernest Holmes. Read by Michelle Ingalls. January 21st. Causes and Conditions. Mental practice deals only with thought. The philosophy of spiritual mind healing is based upon the conception that we are living in a universe of intelligence, a spiritual universe, that thoughts are things, the definite states of consciousness as they become subjective operate through a creative field and tend to produce themselves in form. Therefore, it lar- logically follows that this system of treatment is for the purpose of uncovering and neutralizing the wrong states of thoughts, of building in mind a concept of our spiritual birthright. Thought, which is built upon a realization of the divine presence, has the power to neutralize negative thought, to erase it, just as light has the power to overcome darkness, not by combating darkness, but becoming exactly what it is, light. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Therefore, spiritual treatment does not concern itself with unpleasant conditions, nor with imperfect manifestation, either in one's body or the body of one's affairs. Treatment is for the purpose of inducing an interior awareness of an interior realization in the mind of the practitioner pertaining to the spiritual perfection of the person for whom he is working. Changeless reality. Spirit is changeless reality. That which we call personality is the instrument through which spirit operates. But spirit can operate for the individual only by operating through him. Spirit is never bound by the form it takes, and it is not affected by any apparent cause or condition, but is forever free. Spirit not only fills all forms, but surges around them and through them. Ice is formed from water. All ice is some form of water. Just so, God and man exist in an eternal state of unity. The solid and the liquid are one substance. We are dealing with an impersonal principle. It will operate for one just as quickly as for another because it is the law. Dare to speak and to know that what you speak is the law unto the things spoken regardless of what conditions exist. One alone in consciousness with the infinite constitutes a complete majority. Knowing this in your thought, work in perfect peace and calm. Always expect the good, have enthusiasm, and above all, have a consciousness of love, a radiant feeling glowing through your consciousness at all times. Treat yourself until you have an inner sense of unity with all good.